Beacon Farm on the edge of Birmingham has a dairy herd of 200 cows. The farmer says he's now losing money on every litre of milk he produces here. His business is being hit by inflation from all sides. The three key things on, on this farm would be feed, fuel and fertiliser. Um, and feed's gone up 60%, uh, probably getting closer to 70% today. Uh, Fertiliser's gone up fourfold. Why are all these prices rising? I mean, it, it just, it's a, a lot of the fertiliser was, was, was now imported from Russia and Ukraine. Cow's milk isn't as popular as it once was, but we still consume an awful lot of it, and it's set to become much less affordable. The price of four pints of milk could increase from £1.15 to as much as £1.70, according to Kite Consulting, which advises dairy farmers, while a pack of butter could rise from £1.55 to over £2. On average, we still consume the equivalent of three pints of dairy products a week in the UK. Food prices are rising across the board, though, with some predicting annual inflation will peak above 7% in September. Wage inflation can't keep up. Animal feed represents around a third of a dairy farmer's costs. It contains wheat, barley, soya and rapeseed to improve milk yields. All of these commodities are grown in Russia and Ukraine. The price of all of them has soared since the war began. Next time you peek in your fridge to get a product from Arla, Britain's you can be largest sure dairy processor wants supermarkets milk. to charge Arla more milk. for milk. We asked Arla if it thought consumers could afford to pay 50% more. It's difficult for everybody, but I can assure you our farmers are absolutely feeling it at this moment in time with some of the costs that are going into their businesses. They're going to have to make some tough decisions. Farmers warn they will cut production or export their milk if they can't cover their costs here. The British Retail Consortium told us that supermarkets will keep prices affordable and that an increase of 50% in the price of milk is unthinkable. John Hills, ITV News in Birmingham.